ever wonder where your fruit and vegetables come from? You'd probably say the supermarket, right? But I mean, some of that stuff's come from halfway around the world. It makes you wonder, why don't we just grow our own? Well, today we're gonna talk to some people who do. There's more than one way to get your fruit and veggies. And while the supermarket's fast and convenient, it doesn't beat growing your own. So I'm going to check out two different ways of bringing freshness to your plate while remaining an eco-warrior. We're here at Bishop Stream Community Garden in Auckland, which was set up last year by a guy called Patrick. Let's go find him and have a yarn. Hey Patrick, how's it going? Yeah, I'm going well. You good? You're watering. You're going to come and join the garden? I would love to if I knew how it works, so I okay. might need to help there. It's really weird, you guys are in the middle of the city, like you can hear there's cars right, everywhere, right, like right. that's so cool, how did you get a garden going Well here? that's one of the reasons why we wanted to establish the garden, because yeah. in the city, and particularly in Titarangi, most of us have tree shaded gardens, right. and not a lot of space to grow, the sunny space. Each one of us has a bed, this is our bed, yeah. and then another family has that bed, and. Yep. So each family has their own bed. Yep. Are there a lot of young people involved in this garden? Quite a lot of young people involved in this garden and they come and tend their gardens. Young people love gardening too and it's great for them to learn about where their food comes from yep. and how to grow and how to use compost and to grow organically. Hey, this is Gertrude and Francesca and these guys help out at the garden too. Why do you do it? What's fun about it? Isn't it easy to just go to the supermarket? Well, then you don't really know what happened to those vegetables and it's really fun to garden and grow them yourself. Yep. Okay, we're here with Amy. This is her plot of land. Um, how did you get it going? Um, actually, my mum started it with this group and I've been helping her out because I've got a whole lot of guinea pigs so I like to feed them up as well. Okay, so out of the stuff that you do grow and yep. eat yourself, what's your favourite? Um, good old spinach. Can't yeah. go wrong with that. Easy it's to cook. Good for you too. Yeah. Yeah. Community gardening is a great way to share the workload. And it also helps to cut down on food wastage because there's always plenty of hungry mouths to eat all those carrots. But we can also help the environment by growing organically. Cool, this is Ross from Kalmana Organic Gardens right in the middle of Auckland City. If um, someone at home wanted to start up their own organic garden, how easy is that to do? What would you do at the beginning? At how would the you beginning? One of the best things you can do is to initially start making a worm farm. Yeah. Use all your potato peelings and your um, banana skins and stuff like that and get a worm farm started. Then just start little. One fruit, one vegetable, just a little plot at home and then grow from there. Yeah, and just experiment. Be prepared to get something that's growing fantastic, but be prepared to take a loss because it's all a learning experience. How much easier is it to pop into your own garden and grab your food? It's great for the environment and the taste. It's unbelievable. Like, woo, woo, woo. Huh? This is amazing. Mm. <laughs>